good morning you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mink and this is minks kinks and we're back today with another vlog and we're just gonna do some like spending time with me type of things today so i'm off today um i did get a new job so today i'm about to go down there and sign all the new job paper situation and then after that i'm gonna go to duncan because y'all know i'm a duncan girl and then i have to go wash some clothes and there's a panera right next to the place where i wash my clothes at so i have my laptop and i have my book so that i can do some editing and some reading um while i'm out and as y'all can see my place is a mess i did do like a little weekend getaway and baby just haven't haven't recuperated since okay so <laughs> that's what we're gonna do a little bit of today just a lot of cleaning and stuff and then i think i'm gonna carry this vlog out throughout the weekend um i don't really have much planned but i do want to just reflect and spend a lot of time with myself um the ankles in this video might be a little bit weird i'm gonna tell y'all now i broke my tripod um <laughs> um i broke my tripod so um one is on the way here from amazon and it should be here soon um i'll be getting a lot of packages and stuff as well because it's a stay at home job so i have to order a desk and a chair and all of that stuff so i'll be building that at some point that probably won't be in that this vlog though i'm i'm not thinking it will be but yeah i'm gonna just take you guys along the ride with me of this um I don't want to call it a self-care weekend, but just spending time with myself and seeing where it goes from there. I'm about to um, head down and go sign these new job papers. y'all so i am back and today is friday and y'all i did have a lash appointment today to get these little stragglers removed and everything so i gotta figure out a way to get these off because i look crazy i look like i got the remainder of charlotte's web on my eyelashes and i'm not having it so it gotta go um so i think i'm about to go to sonic I don't know y'all my legs hurt so bad like I have to take a bath today because um the legs hurt baby they hurt so um yeah I think I'm gonna drive the Sonic um after I change out of the clothes that I wore to work today and everything but I did pick up some hair products yesterday so I wanted to come and show y'all real quick so I picked up two products from Carol's daughter the first is the wash day delight gel to film styler I picked up the matching cream serum moisturizer so both of these are very much loaded with silicones um this is what they look like and I picked them up out of Rite Aid yesterday because they were on sale but I want to get one half off so I wanted to go ahead and try them and everything so I picked those up so that's what I did um my phone is dead right now so I'll probably wait till my phone is charged a little bit before I go get my food but i need a cherry limeade in my life for my for my stressors okay you guys so i'm back and i'm about to take my bubble bath so i want to come through and show you guys what i was using real quick so the first thing that i'm going in with is the dr teal's deep marine sea kelp foaming bath um it's to purify and hydrate honestly um i feel like they all work just about the same it's really just about the smell that you're going for and then i'm also going to use this bath bomb from lush it's from their easter collection um, it was in a gift box, like the egg scent or something. I don't know. Um, so, personally, I like my bath bombs to do something. Um, you know what I'm saying? More than just moisturize. Like, I like them to change the color or bubble up or something. And the last one that I had from Lush like this didn't do much either. So, that's why I'm pulling out the bubbles because I just... If I'm going to take the time to sit in a bath, I need it to feel bougie. So, let's get into the experience and yeah. Look who's here. Hello. <laughs> I get so awkward. Girl. <laughs> so we are having a slumber party today. Period. Period. Oh my god, look how much children. It's because I'm leaning over. Okay. 
So we're gonna go get some food and then I guess we're gonna look around, do a little shopping, a little whopping, you know, love that game. Do you wanna do a fit check? Yeah. Okay, come come in the mirror. Okay. Tell them what it's giving. Okay, so shoes, dunks, but uh -huh. they're well actually just kidding. Wait, wait, Jordan wait. ones. Okay. Okay. So yeah. yeah we love it. Wait, well I just said dunks. It's get wait, I'm giving true camera woman. Okay. Oh yeah, that's the one. That's the one. <laughs> um, cargo pants are American Eagle. Mm -hmm. They're amazing. I have them like four different colors. Okay. And then Sun's t-shirt. Uh, don't even know anyone besides Devin Booker that plays. And it don't matter. Uh, but Abercrombie. Okay, per. So yeah. <laughs> okay, let me give you all a little fit check, fit check. So let me get sweat. Okay. So I got these little pants on. Love them with the rose detail, you know, a little extra. We got the pink Telfeezy because we're giving girls today with the pink shades. We got the little claw clip because they slaps. And then the little shirt I got from Marshalls and it has a little cutout. I need to figure out what I'm going to do about this little bra situation because it's giving mm -mm. So, yeah. good morning, you guys. So, I got my first HelloFresh box. So, let's go ahead and see what's in it. All right, y'all, so I went ahead and got three meal options and um, two servings each. So the first thing I got is the cheesy smothered mushroom chicken, but I don't like cheese, so I'll just be making it without the cheese, but that's what it'll look like. I got the caramelized onion Swiss burgers. Again, I don't like cheese, so I'll just be taking that off. And then the last one I got was the sweet chili pork and cabbage stir fry. So yeah, y'all, this is my first time trying HelloFresh, so I'm excited. Okay, y'all, so I am back, and today's Sunday, so it is wash day. So I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair. I do have some filming that needs to be done. Um, I'm doing two videos today. One's a new deep condition, well, one's a protein treatment, and then the other one is a revisiting products. Um, but I did... My desk was delivered, so I think after I do my wash and go today, I'm going to try and <laughs> put this together because I start my new job a week from tomorrow, um, and I'm going to have to move my hair shelf over here to this corner, and then my desk will go on this wall. So I definitely got my work cut out for me this week, so I'm going to just put these clothes away, and then I'm going to get started into my wash day. Okay, you guys, so I am back, and here's my desk that needs to be built, and um, I felt like what a fitting way to um, conclude the rest of my self-care vlog, um, and just like spending time with me type of vlog, than by buying myself some flowers. Y'all know that I love flowers. Um, Y'all see flowers, and I feel like every day on vlog, I'm getting a new set of flowers. Um, I really enjoy spending time by myself. Um, and it's something that I'm definitely new to, but I'm definitely liking right now. So today I bought me a little frozen pizza and I'm going to do a face mask and see my face and watch murder mysteries because that's what I like to do when I'm going to paint my nails. So I'm going to do all of that stuff off camera. I think it's important for me to not film everything because it feels like I'm not living in the moment. So I'm just going to shut it on down here. Hey you guys, um, I decided to come through and pick up the camera really quickly um, just because I finished the book today. And like the last book, I wanted to just go ahead and give you guys a quick summary, synopsis, thoughts, opinions, all of that, all of that in the video. So I figured out well, why not just pick up the camera and record it and let you guys know my thoughts. Don't mind my tripod back there. I just finished filming the TikTok where I really go in into detail of it. So if you don't follow me on TikTok, definitely go follow me on TikTok because I've been doing like in-depth book reviews over there. Um, they seem to get a little bit more appeal over there. So that's just where I've been doing them. But if you guys want me to do them on YouTube, let me know. But you still should go follow me on other platforms. Minx Kinks on Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, all of the above. Go check me out. Yes, ma'am. So for the book that I finished today, this is called Nobody Knows the Trouble I've Seen, The Emotional Lives of Black Women by Inger Burnett Ziegler. That's what the book looks like. And y'all, this was an absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful book. I'm not going to hold up the book the whole time. Maybe I'll put a pop up. Maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll see. Um, this was a really, really good book. It was 
238 pages I want to say so it wasn't a very long book but it took me a really long time to read it just because it's very emotionally heavy so like it says on the title it talks about the emotional lives of black women so she's a therapist she talks about some of the stories that she's heard she talks about a, a range of things y'all she talks about respectability politics mommy and daddy issues um the historical legacy of between black people and not seeking out mental help or um the historical trauma response that we've tried passed down where we just don't talk about issues and sweep things under the rug and try to move on but you know that just sort of starts to fester she talks about so many different things she talks about how systems are against us like how um black people in the united states make up 14 percent of the population and almost 40 percent of prison populations which is Every time I hear that statistic, I'm like, baby, hello, like what is going on? She talks about the power in saying no, which is very important. And it's a hard lesson that I feel like most of us need to learn. It was a it was a really, really good book. I think I said on TikTok that I gave the book an 8 out of 10. And it was only an 8 out of 10 because there were a lot of times where I found that I had to just put the book down. Because a lot of times for me, I look to books for solitude to escape my own personal life and my own personal chaos that I have going on. So that's the only reason why I gave it an 8 because it's not a book that you just pick up just to read or to escape. Um, you have to pick up this book intentionally to sort of try and heal to learn to to try to balance yourself out I definitely think it's a book that every black woman needs to read I know that at least for my platform I have a lot of majority of my platforms are other black women and women who look like me um, and I think that this is a very important book for us specifically just because it's a book where it's like I see you I know the things that you're going through and here's how we're going to help for your specifics so she talks about how um, there's not a lot of diversity among therapists and that turns a lot of people off and um, it's difficult having a conversation about my life as a black woman and explaining this to a white man who has no idea of the things that go on for people who look like us so um it was very interesting a very thoughtful read it, it really made me think a lot of times um and i really 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 enjoyed the book is it a book i'm gonna keep absolutely um you guys know that that's a conversation that we've had before i get rid of books that i don't feel like need, i need to keep like what's the point so i'll donate them i'll give them to friends take them to half price books get a little coin off of them um, but this is absolutely a book that I found that I needed to keep. I found that I was highlighting something on like every other page because it just had that much um, little golden nuggets in there that I felt like later on when I really need this book or when my kids find this book, um, I want them to know that there are important things that happen in there. So yeah, I just wanted to pick up the camera real quick and let you guys know my thoughts on this book. It was absolutely amazing. And I am going to go ahead and start a new book. Um, it's called Don't Cry For Me by Daniel Black. He's the same author of Perfect Peace, which I know a lot of people have read except for me. <laughs> um, so I'm really excited to read it just because he's such a critically acclaimed author and I'm excited to see what he's trying to talk about. I know that the book is about an estranged relationship between a black father and a gay son um, and just sort of the turmoil there. I know it talks about black ancestry. I know um, the father's on his deathbed. I know that's a key component component of the book. The father's dying. He writes this um, series of letters, I guess it is. But for us, it's like the book is the letter. I don't know. I'll have a better, you know, idea once I actually start to read it. But I read like 50 pages in this book today. So I probably won't start reading the other one until tomorrow. But yeah, I just want to come through and let you guys know what was tea on that. And yeah. Good morning, y'all. Um, Today is Saturday. And I'm going to go to the grocery store because, baby, yeah, we need groceries. So that's what I'm going to go do. I'm going to give you all a little fit check real quick. So we are really just keeping it casual cute. Uh oh, um, casual cute. So the pink Adidas hat I got on my friends. Um, she has a brand, so I threw on her hoodie, some gray sweats, and the pink Crocs. And we're out of here. I am going to stop at, stop at Star Binux because... I need coffee. <laughs> Hi, 
Thanks for choosing Starbucks. How are you doing today? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Good. What are we getting started for you? Can I have a grande caramel macchiato? It's not going to be hot today? Yes, please. Okay, anything else? Um, can I have a butter croissant as well? Hey, y'all. Um, it's been a very, 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 very long time since I got back from the store. <laughs> and um, everything is put away. Um, with the exception of a couple things. So I figured I'd come through and show y'all. So I got an apple cutter. Let me turn on a different light. I'm sorry if y'all can hear the siren in the bag. Not sure what's up with that. But we got an apple cutter. I did get a new body wash. This is what it looks like. Um, I really like the matching lotion. So I got the body wash. And then, you know, a couple other little random stuff. But I picked up the Almost There. Um, this book has been circulating on um, the tickities and the talkities. Um, Y'all know that I am a part of Book Talk. Y'all didn't like my book video here on YouTube, which is <laughs> um, unfortunate. Um, but yeah, I'm going to post where I want anyway. So um, yeah, so I'm excited to read that. A lot of the girlies and guys have been talking about that. It's um, basically like the princess and the frog, but if she chose to go with the voodoo man instead so i was talking to urban fab crows about it shout out to her if you see in this girl um i was talking to her about it in the dms and she said she read a couple of the different versions um so i saw it at walmart and said girl just get it so i did um so yeah i think that's where i'm gonna close this vlog out today um i'm not really doing much else i'll be cleaning up i'm about to take a shower um pre-poo my hair because baby um, but yeah, that's the end of this. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, I love you guys and I will see you in my next one. Bye.